Hello, I'm Stuart Law and what I'm doing this week is something a little bit different. I'm having very short sessions, maximum one hour, right up to dark and just into it. And I'm after perch and what I'm going to do is to target specific uh, places such as uh, bridges, uh, next to a lock, one overhanging bush, that sort of thing in the, uh, you know, the idea that there won't be massive shoals of perch there maybe, but there'll be one or two decent sized fish that I'm after. Anyway, I've had a session already and you can see the uh, photograph on the uh, screen right now. What a cracker of a perch, just the one fish, but what a cracker. And that's what I'm setting my stall out for this week. Not many, but when I do catch, hopefully there will be, uh, there will be decent ones. Having said that, I could look into a, a shoulder two ounce perch, couldn't I? You, know, you can't really plan for those sort of things, but that's that's my uh, that's my planning and preparation and thinking for this week. I haven't even bought a chair with me now, just uh, a flying visit, and I've got the uh, the rod out. I'm fishing with a worm, just a, a simple rig, straightforward rig, shoulder two again. and I'm putting some maggots out and a, a small amount of lobworm ground bait. Anyway, if I can catch another fish like I did on the first one, that'll be brilliant. And I've just had a little, uh, little tap actually. Right on dark as you can see. And I just had my first take. The, uh, it looked very perchy actually, the bite, the way that it went round. And I ended up <laughs> hooking it up. You can't really see there, but uh, it's like a pair of pants or something connected to a a can. I think what had happened is that when I cast out, uh, the hook had, had settled on the uh, the underwear, <laughs> rotted, I must say, you know, not uh, not fresh. Uh, the hook had settled on the uh, on the rubbish, and of course the worm sort of freezing it, and the the perch had picked up the worm, pulled at the worm, and of course felt the resistance um, of all the uh, you know the other stuff there, and uh, dropped it. But that's encouraging anyway. I've probably got another. Uh, you know, 10 or 15 minutes to go. So this is, uh, this is the time when I'm expecting to catch something. Well, it's dark now, of course, and you can't uh, see me, but you can hear me, and no doubt you can see my uh, head torch. And I've just had a little bit of a, a pull round. I'm not sure at this moment of time what it is. I think it might just be a, a, a chub, actually. As it comes to the net, yeah, that's confirmed. And that's about the last fish actually of the session because I'm ready to pack away. But at least I'm not a blanket, so <laughs> I'm thankful for that. I'm out for 45 minutes this time up to dark. It's a short session, very, very cold, quite foggy, and the canals were frozen this morning. Fortunately, we've had a little bit of a thaw during the day. Um, tough, of course, but as long as I've got that bait in the water, you know I've got a chance. I'm actually fishing opposite uh, a holly tree, again fitting in with my uh, plan this week, my, my attack line this week, targeting single features if you like, standalone features, in the hope that there's a, a big chunky perch sitting just underneath it. I have actually done a, a third session before this one, obviously this is my fourth item of the week, all short of course and I fished uh, underneath a pipe bridge that went over the canal. Looked quite hopeful, I thought I'd give it a go. There was a, a tree to the side, again, thought that might be a, a perch holding feature. As it happened, I fished with a, a big clump of worms and I had stacks of bites from roach, you know, the lightning quick uh, takes that you get from them. Didn't connect with any, of course. So I, uh, I was perchless on that session. Anyway, I've just had a, a little, uh, little pluck there as the bait's gone out. It's very cold as I've said, water temperature isn't, uh, isn't too clever, but um, if there is uh, at least one fish feeding and I catch that, I'll be a happy bunny. Well, it's great when a plan comes together, isn't it? And uh, I've just caught this beauty. Not massive, of course, but all fish are beautiful in my eyes, especially perch. You can't see me now. I say that a lot, don't I, lately? You can't see me, but you can hear me. And I've just had uh, another fish take the bait. Now that you can hear it uh, splashing around there. It feels like a, a decent enough fish as well. And if this is a perch then I'll be uh, I'll be very happy. I 
think it might be a chuluck. <laughs> Yeah, it's a chub. I can see the old, uh, the old lips coming to the net there. Anyway, that's a bonus, isn't it? I am into my last few minutes now, literally. It's, uh, it's quite dark. <sighs> Don't know if you can see that. <sighs> quite cold as well. But uh, I'm, I'm happy with the, uh, the fish I've had. This is just part of my plan this week, isn't it? Trying different spots and seeing what's there. Anyway, both bites have been, uh, you know, very... Very gentle ones, really. I think the uh, water temperature reflects on f on fish behaviour, doesn't it? When the uh, temperature is quite uh, quite high, water temperature, the fish are very active. Hence, why we don't uh, dead bait for pike in the summer, because they're more likely to swallow the bait. Whereas in the winter, they're a little bit slower, and you can hook them properly. Getting no more action now, and. Uh, I think this will be my uh, my final clip of session four. Before I go to my next session, I've got my granddaughter, Naya, with me. Now, we've been here before. If you watch my videos on a regular basis, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, Naya, would you like to go fishing with granddad? Yeah. <laughs> Say yes. yes. Say yes. yes. Would you like to go fishing with granddad? <laughs> <laughs> Say yes. 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 Say yes. Yes. Would you like to go fishing with Grandad? No. Okay. We'll get there one day, won't we, Naya? Say yes. Yes. <laughs> Give Grandad a kiss. My granddaughter, I do love her very much. I enjoy being a father, although my girls are now grown up and both in the 20s. I enjoy being a father, but when I became a grandfather, that was very, very special. And regardless of what Naya says, my granddaughter, she will be on the bank. <laughs> and uh, I'm hoping this year, you know, with my wife maybe for a, a sort of a nice, easy session after some small fish. But as they say, watch this space. Anyway, I'm watching my rod tip and I'm back on the bank now for my final outing of the week. This one is slightly different in the sense that the others have been very short, up to dark. This one, I'm actually out in the middle of the day and I've just seen a wood nest just <laughs> run in front of me. And I'm out in the middle of the day. You have to make the most of the time that you've got. And in last week's video, you would have seen a football game that started off nice and normal as far as the conditions were concerned. And just into the uh, the second half, about 30 minutes into the second half actually, um, it was called off because of snow. Anyway, that was the new Saints versus Kevin Druids. And this evening, I'm actually going back to the... Uh, to the to the replayed game, if you like, you know the game that's been uh, that's been set after that one is abandoned. So I can't fish this evening, but I can fish in the day. And I've actually come to a spot that people who watch my videos on a, a fairly regular basis uh, will will recognise. Well, that would mouse again. Will uh, will will recognise that I've done chub fishing here before, and I've fished with um, you know baits like bread, boilies. I did do a session with worm recently and I caught perch, just a couple, and so I've decided to come back and target the perch from here. It would be great to, to go out with a nice fish. I started the video with a nice one and it would be great, great to go out with one, even better, wouldn't it? Can't beat a bit of optimism and confidence. I'm talking of football, which I think for many of us, fishing and football are constant companions. Uh, I certainly love my uh, my game, and as well as playing, I'm also a big fan as well. And the match that I referred to, the New Saints versus Kevin Druids, that I, that was abandoned because of the snow. I actually run a, a radio show, present a radio show, host a radio show, the New Saints Radio, in the Welsh Premier League, and that's where I'm actually going uh, tonight. But this morning, I was on BBC Radio Shropshire talking about the New Saints Radio. And I will play the, uh, the interview on, on a future video in full. It's only a few minutes. But just for now, here's a little clip. And uh, amazingly, talking about football, I managed to get fishing into it. And the, uh, the, the cover that you can see there the, uh, on the screen, the image, that's my uh, match day program page. I've got a, a page in the match day program at the New Saints. 
and so uh, here's how I managed to get angling into my football interview. Have you ever said a quick prayer at half time when it's not going very well? <laughs> no, no, I haven't. I, 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 I've been asked that many times. I'm also a keen angler as well, and I've been asked, do, do I, uh, you know, pray to catch fish? No, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm into a fish, and I, I think it could actually be a perch. And it is. That's great. Not a, not a monster one, not as big as the one I caught on the opening session. But hey, they all count. That's in the net. Brilliant. As you can see there, perfectly hooked in the side of the mouth. But one essential item that you need when you're doing this sort of fishing, and especially for perch, is a disgorger. Don't leave home without one. Let me show you my rig. Simplicity in itself. Six pound line, straight through, no swivel involved. I've got a third of an ounce lead there, as you can see. And I've created the hook length simply by nipping on a size 6 shot and a 5mm bead and then about 5-6 inches below on this occasion I've got a, a size 10 hook and a couple of worms very very simple but it's working I don't know about a bang but uh, I'm going out with a fish and oh, I thought it was a perch it's a bream not that I want to sound disappointed, of course, but uh, this is probably uh, over a pound and uh, not big, of course, for a bream of that size, but for a perch it would be pretty good from the venue that I'm fishing. The video comes to an end. I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, I've certainly enjoyed making it. Just a few fish this week, but considering the conditions and water temperature hasn't been too clever, I'm happy enough with what I've caught. Certainly the fish at the beginning of the session, that was what it was all about. Anyway, check out my website, and if you're on Facebook, I've got a personal uh, Facebook as well as a Facebook page for my angling, and all requests are granted, so maybe I'll connect with you on there.